Even if you're living in any state that requires just no-fault insurance, you might not completely know what no-fault insurance actually is, and how it varies from the conventional, standard liability auto insurance system. And if you are thinking of shifting to some different state which requires no-fault insurance, you might even have more complexity in understanding the variations in liability. Before you buy a new no-fault auto insurance policy, make sure that you understand what a no-fault insurance is, and also your state's specific necessities along with your personal needs. What is meant by this no-fault insurance? At present, 10 U.S. states need no-fault auto insurance, Hawaii, Florida, Kansas, Michigan, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New York, New Jersey, Utah and North Dakota. Three regions allow you for selecting no-fault insurance, Kentucky, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. Under the standard liability insurance system, the capability to recover damages depends upon provable negligence. This refers to the capacity to prove who is guilty for the accident. However, in case of no-fault insurance system, the ability to recover the damages from other drivers in case of the occurrence any accident is limited. To pay for this limitation, it is required that you purchase no-fault insurance. In the case of any accident, the insurance company pays for your damages, up to the limits of the policy, not considering who is guilty for the cause of the accident. Other drivers are covered by their policies respectively. A pure no-fault system has the ability to cover you completely in case any accident occurs, and as well as forbids you from suing the other driver. For this reason, no state in the U.S. uses any pure form of no-fault insurance system. In its place, no-fault states make use of a combination of no-fault car insurances as well as the system of standard liability insurance. This means that for certain conditions, lawsuits are permissible. In a majority of no-fault states, drivers are still likely to be held monetarily responsible for any damages caused due to accidents if the injuries reach some predefined level of severity. For instance, there might be a limit for medical bills which must be cleared before a lawsuit can be filed. Or, the law might verbally declare an elaborate definition of the type of injuries that has incurred like dismemberment, death, or disfiguration. It is therefore important to be having a liability coverage even though you are living in a no-fault insurance state. Additionally, no-fault insurance does not have any effect on damages that has been caused to the automobiles involved in the accident. The insurance companies would still determine the liability. If you are guilty and do not have any car insurance, both the no-fault insurance company as well as the medical insurer would be in a firm position to be able to file a court case against you so as to recover the damages. If you are guilty and do not possess a collision car insurance coverage, you will still be accountable for the repairing of your own car. No-fault insurance was intended to protect the drivers by offering everyone with good medical coverage and at the same time reduce all administrative and legal costs associated with any type of insurance claims. Share this video and subscribe for more interesting auto insurance tips.